Hey folks, and welcome to Bear Baiting Alaska. If you're a first time viewer, thanks for joining the channel. And if you're a return viewer, thanks for hanging with us while we try to finish up this bear hunt on Gravina Island in Southeast Alaska. So, you know, I know all the other hunting shows, they, they go in, they put up their stand, and they hunt the next day, kill a big bear, and they all go home, and everything goes great. Um, so, I'm glad you're, or at least I hope you're sticking with us where you see the real side of bear baiting, where it's a lot of work. It's, it's scouting, it's finding terrain that works, it's dragging in barrels, it's dragging in hundreds of pounds of bait, setting cameras, and then figuring out how to finish it off, right? And uh, so, uh, just when we were about to throw in the towel, right, at this bait, uh, we realized it had been hit hard. Checked the camera, brought it home, and uh, right, lo and behold, a giant bear. You know, I was being conservative in the last episode, saying six and a half feet. Um, I got to see him in person. Right, I pulled the, I baited and pulled those cameras on a Sunday. I was fortunate enough to be able to go back in a week and a half ago for four hours, and as I to, to rebait and bait it up heavy. And uh, on my way down, he was on his way down from the riverbank. He came up, and then he goes over the, the ridge and comes into the bait. And so I froze, and he came on down. He could, he didn't see me. It was so thick in cover. Um, and what triggered me was I heard a snap. Right, and typically, right, if you've hunted bear for a while, you'll realize, right, bears are just amazing creatures. They're like ghosts in the woods, right? You, you sit there and you're at, a, you're at your stand or in your blind and you're daydreaming after a while, after a few hours, and you look up and there's a giant bear. And you're like, how did he get in here without me hearing it? So when I heard that snap, I immediately thought, big bear, because big bears don't care, right? He's the biggest, he's the alpha male in this section. And so he's coming in and no other bears are, are gonna bother him, right? And he is the alpha, he has no predators. So I froze, I watched him come in. He is a beautiful bear. He's the only bear we're targeting here um, in Gravina Island. And uh, yeah, he was amazing. I watched him for half an hour, then he kind of worked around the barrel and then disappeared. I didn't see him leave. He didn't leave the way he came in. Um, you know, I, so I gave him another 15 minutes. Uh, he had the right away. Um, and then I went down, grabbed, grabbed the card, uh, the, the camera, baited up 150 pounds of food, to keep them there, and then I hit, hit the road. I came back on Saturday, so a week ago today. Today is Saturday, May 28th. So a week ago on Saturday, a friend of mine, James Wilson, came in. He's from Ketchikan, Alaska. He did some filming for me, and we sat the blind for nine hours from the ground and uh so the good news we saw all the bears that were on camera we saw them in person the bad news none of them came into the bait every one of them sensed somehow that we were there sitting on the ground um you know i i don't think it was the wind there was no wind and i had sent it up the entire no man's land between the ground blind and the barrel and they were coming up from the backside so um i didn't think they could smell us i i don't know right i no one can say for sure um but i will say that these bears on the, that island um are extremely in tune to their environment i've seen bears like that before but few and far between at my other sites 600 miles north of here um you know those bears are elusive uh, but they're fewer, right? So bears are all different. Each one has its own personality, right? A lot of bears Know you're there don't care other bears are very sensitive and like sneak in and walk in and walk around the baits and try to circle and circle you um, So but all of these bears uh, seem to be extremely hyper sensitive to their surroundings, right? I mean big bears. That's where big bears come from big bears uh, are big because they're smart right um and so we got to see them none of them came in uh we only captured one bit on video because those big bears came in and out quickly they didn't run in and out but they came as i said they just kind of came out of nowhere we looked up there he was 
you know, five, six, seven seconds later, he just turned around slowly and walked back down. Um, the big, big one, our target bear, the only bear we're looking for, uh, didn't leave the area. And I know this because after he turned around and walked away, within a minute, I heard him batting around a plastic uh, five gallon bucket that I used for grease that was back there. So he was in no hurry to leave, but he was certainly in no hurry to come into range uh, at the bait. And so uh, we did see a mating pair about half hour. They worked their way in. He was clicking his throat. She was moaning and grunting. And uh, they were together for that entire time working in, back out, in, back out. Uh, James was able to capture some of that when they came and skirted the bait. Um, so thanks to James, I would have no video of bears. Right, it was starting to turn into one of those Bigfoot documentaries, right? Where you, there's, the, there's big bear. Oh, look. Oh, I didn't catch them. Well, that's what it felt like with the big two big bears and then the two mating pair, the boar and the sow. So anyway, I think lesson learned here is we need to get off the ground. I need to get off the ground. I was going to build a platform just, you know, six, eight feet off the ground. Um, but uh, I decided I've gone against everything. I believe in, in ladder stands, you know, ladder stands. I like giant ladder stands. I like comfortable ladder stands. Um, but I ended up ordering online a ladder stand without a back. It's got a solid seat. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to sit in, literally. And boo hoo for us, right? Who cares? Who cares? We're gonna go sit and hunt bears, right? And uh, you know, that's anyone's bucket list, right? So uh, that comes, I ordered it, free shipping, 95 bucks. So I'm gonna look at it as, as a throwaway or I'll give it to somebody when we leave the island. And uh, 95 bucks, free shipping, and it'll be here on Friday. So today is Saturday. So we'll be here next Friday. We'll put it in there. I just baited up today with 200 pounds of food and grease. Um, and again, hey, we're on the cheap and we're, we're uh, just, we're just regular Joe Blows like you guys out there, right? And uh, things happen to us just like they happen to you. And so I always preach have two cameras, but I only have one in this site. And of course, I didn't take any pictures. I grabbed the card. I was all excited when I came back from baiting today. So I could put some pictures and see, you know, see anything new coming in. There was about 100 pounds of food gone. Um, but uh, it didn't, I didn't have any photos, so I don't know what the heck went on there. Uh, who knows, maybe I thought I was turning it on, I turned it off. I, I think we've all been there one time or another. So again, um, we, 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 no matter how many years you do this, mistakes are made, things happen. Um, so hey, you just roll with it. So anyway, uh, I've got some footage to show you. Uh, James captured some walking on down. Probably won't film any more after that on the walk on down. I mean, I think you got it. Yeah, everyone can walk on down, right? It's kind of like the video footage of people driving in their trucks. But anyway, and then there's a little footage of those black bears, the mating pair. And then uh, and then hopefully next time uh, we'll have a little more footage of some bears at the bait. Hopefully one being taken. Um, but again, we'll put the blind up, uh, the ladder stand, I'm sorry. We'll put the ladder stand up and uh get that off the ground pick that scent up it'll also let us to see over the ridge because you can't see these bears until they pop up and are right behind the barrel um you'll see it in the video so uh but anyway if you're out there baiting i hope you're having a little better luck than us but again i'm not complaining the baiting is successful uh, right we've we've managed to bring bears into our baits um and so that's a success um, and again, we're only after one bear now because we know because we baited and we have video footage of what bears are coming in. And so there's some other tempting bears in there, but I'm going to leave them be. And I'm going to wait for the big one because, you know, I've taken 23 bears uh, between myself and my sons and friends and at our, at all at our baits. And uh, so, you know, uh, we're waiting for special bears and uh, this one's it.
So anyway, if you're out there, be safe, take care of yourselves, good luck, and we'll talk to you soon. All right.